A consumer alert that you moms and dads with babies at home need to hear about. Walmart is pulling one specific type of baby formula from its store shelves because a newborn in uh, Missouri died as a result of a rare bacterial infection. And we're talking about a very popular brand, Enfamil, and it's the powder newborn formula. It comes in 12 and a half ounce canisters. The lot number is ZP1K7G. A 10-day-old baby died from a bacteria that some say can grow in powdered formula. But Enfamil says the batch Walmart pulled tested negative for that bacteria. Walmart says it's pulled it out of an abundance of caution. So joining us by phone right now is pediatrician Dr. Vandanya Bide. Good morning to you. Uh, you know, I have small kids. I've used formula in the past. Can't say that I've ever heard that bacteria can grow in it. What do we know about this particular type of bacteria? Right. Well, we know that that formula is not sterile, which means it can be contaminated. Bacteria can grow in it, um, and and it does require testing by the manufacturer, which was done in this case. I think um, this is certainly an infection that can occur, but it's very rare, so I don't think it's, there's any reason for panic. Um, of course, I wouldn't recommend using the the formula with the lot number that you gave. Um, but there are ways of making formula safer. Dr. Bidet, you, you, you suggest that moms and dads not use the formula with the lot number that's been provided. Right, Should there be a concern right. that perhaps some other lots may have been contaminated as well? And the, and the word is that that contamination can very well occur after shipping. It is possible. And, and because you can have contamination after shipping, there are ways to make um, baby formula safer and again when you use baby formula uh, or powdered baby formula um, always use sterile water uh, you should ref refrigerate the baby formula after making it um, and use it within 24 hours and preferably if you're going to use the f make leave the formula out use it within four hours so those are ways because again there is a possibility of contamination but typically, all these powdered formulas are tested, and they are um, safe. So, again, there's no reason for panic at this and point. And quickly, i got to ask you about this particular type of bacteria. It's Chronobacter sakazaki. Uh, what is it from, it, and how does it infect a person? It's actually it, it's what we call a gram-negative bacteria. We, we've seen it before in rare cases. Typically in the hospital setting in uh, premature infants. So certainly if you have a premature infant, especially with an immune system disorder or um, any reasons why this, the baby may be more prone to meningitis or those kinds of infections, you should certainly talk to your pediatrician before using powdered formula. And liquid formula prepared um, as a liquid is an alternative that can be used. It is, again, it is something that is known to contaminate formulas, but it's tested. So in general, if it's been tested um, and, it's ne and the formula is negative for this bacteria, it should be safe. All right. Dr. Vandana B. Day, thank you so much for joining us. Of course, talk to your pediatrician if you have further questions. I, I think we need to point out, too, the FDA, by the way, has not recalled the formula but it may be available in other stores. We'll be curious to see whether or not the FDA does get involved or other stores follow Walmart's uh, line of thinking.